Hello Tarnished, welcome back to the channel. You are here with Ashwin and today we're going to be playing some Elden Ring. Okay, we're back and oh my god, I've missed this place in the last few days and since I haven't been able to play, I'm just really happy to be back into the world. So let's go get ourselves killed, shall we? Last time I was trying to explore this entire bridge area, it looked like an area of sacrifice. Um, I, I think I did so with Torrent. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot of lag can happen here. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let's hope we don't lag some more. Because we are going to clear out these enemies and that ballista as well. Sometimes I feel like I kind of don't want to lock on anymore because I have done a lot of like jump attacks that have not benefited me at all with the lock on, so... Might be a little bit careful of that. Okay. Seems easy enough to dodge. What are these like tiny little do you see that? What's this tiny little statue? That is so strange. Okay. So an explosive ballista. That seems to have some sort of tracking. Hopefully, I can go take out that first before anything else happens. Alright, buddy. They're going down. No more ballista toy for you. Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Okay, you got up here real quick. Alright, let's take care of this fellow first. Then this one. Come on. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Got him. Ugh, okay. Danger over for the most part. Now we can actually take in the views. That's a really big like tree that comes from the earth tree. I wonder if we can spot anything in the waters. Like I'm half expecting a serpent of sorts, like a water serpent. Wouldn't that be cool? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. It's like all the it's like there's a current and you can see like where all the water is kind of heading towards. That's kinda of cool. A warning to those that are wise to never come to these lands. A chain draped tabard, I believe. Yep. Alright, we're gonna have to read all these items in a bit. Because that is this playthrough for me. Just reading lore, exploring items, getting new weapons, and apparently running through the world naked. I do have my handy dandy notebook here, so... I will actually be able to take some notes of anything that we just like don't understand at this time. And just gain a sense of satisfaction from putting like the clues of this world together and just understanding it to the best of my ability. And honestly, that's been a lot of fun for me so far. Weeping Peninsula. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm going to sit at the side of Grace. And we're going to hit this little skull here that probably has materials inside. Probably the golden runes, right? Um, and then we're gonna explore. Um, I think we're gonna do it on foot because while Torrent is awesome, sometimes I feel like a lot of it just whooshes by. I don't get to appreciate the entirety of it, so we're gonna do this part of the exploration on foot and, seize, and see what awaits us. Um, is that a maiden? Why are there dead bodies leading to a maiden? Why is she sitting under- I would be scared, honestly. Like, even if this has been here for, like, centuries, I would be scared to, like, sit under a temple ruin, just, like, uh, beneath- like, wedged between this cliffside. This does not bode well. I already don't trust whoever this NPC is, but I think it'd be, like, one of the first few that we're encountering. Hello, and who might you be? Sting- Oh, she looks blind. Is she a prophet? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? Yeah. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. Castle Morn. I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since Aww, birth. Oh, that's see. so sad. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle. Secreted me out of the castle. He says it's his duty. That's not the word I would use. 
Okay, Castle Morn in the south. And she's... Lady's been evicted? Because <laughs> things are not safe there. Okay. A little bit of wor world building here. Let's talk to her some more. I, I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. Hmm, I wonder why. For every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. So I... Uh, it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father at the castle? My soul wishes that he escape, even if his honor should be the price. I can do that. Please, I just want him to be safe. Okay, we can deliver a letter. Oh, my abs Thank shine you. so much in this water. This. Arena's letter, okay. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle. We're gonna have a look through that letter. So I wonder then, all those men there, were they protecting her? Was it a bad thing that we rampaged through them, like Godric's men? She seems to be just hiding out here, away from danger. Oh, I don't know. Please, if you wouldn't mind, deliver the letter to my father at the castle. Okay. He can be stubborn, but I'm sure he'll come around. Something tells me he's gonna try and kill me. Um. Either way, let's take a look at some of these items. Maybe the letter, first and foremost. And then everything else. Okay, letter addressed to the commander of Castle Morn. Gorgeous silken handkerchief, lightly stained with blood. Words can be made out within. Oh, she wrote it on a handkerchief. Okay, so at least you'll know it's hers, right? That's kind of all we have then. Um, what else did we pick up? We picked up a- Ooh, our first stone sword key. Breaks the seal on imp statues, but remains embedded in the statue after use, meaning it can only be used once as an item. Think well before using one. Well, we have one that we can go visit the graveyard for to utilize. I haven't seen any other statues that would accept them at this time. Um, let's take a look at any other items. I think we got some gear that I would love to read. None of these. I think it was this. Widely issued to foot soldiers in the Lord's army. Okay, so pretty common. Nothing too special. And I believe we might have gotten a weapon. Okay, no. We have not. Hmm. Let's see, how does this weapon compare? to ours 108 plus no I think our battle axe is doing pretty well I think the great axe would be the next best thing but we don't have the stats currently to be able to wield it not two handed so I'm waiting a little bit for that okay a lot of dead men here it will definitely be one of our priorities to level up our strength pop some points there uh, okay. I don't think it's friendly, but are those a lot of dogs? It seems like the carriage once was leading somewhere, but now the beast has no purpose. There's a lot of dogs. There's a lot of dogs! Like, a lot! I don't like this! I don't like this one bit! Okay, let's go sneak up some, on some dogs. Because <laughs> uh, From Software games are not very good when it comes to dogs. They're pretty brutal. Oh my god! It's just eating the carcass of, like, this noble, long, desecrated. Hmm. Okay, so my arm ones are just not doing well for the height of these puppers. I gotta be a little bit more careful. I think I might go for the jump strike. At least then I might... Oh, what? That's not a pupper at all! Oh! Oh! 
Oh, they have wings. I don't know what they are, but they have wings. Definitely not a pupper. Okay. Oh, that's that's a little creepy. They kind of look like chimeras, like fur winged people things. Got you. That wield weapons and have talents and really creepy faces. Okay, hold on. We gotta take a look at this creepy face. Okay. Wow. They have like porcupine pikes and feathers and down feather and talons. But a human smile. That is really, really creepy. Okay. I, I definitely didn't want to see something that disturbing today. But let's continue our onslaught in this area. I really thought they were dogs because everything else looked like a dog. Is there something in here? Okay. All right. So that means we actually have to take out the puppers there, which are next to that. Okay, he doesn't seem to have noticed. That's good, that's good. Good for us. Ah, but I might die. Hey, okay, gotta get away quickly. Try this again. Come at me, puppers. This is not working out for me. Oop. All right, where is this other one? Okay, no, no, completely missed. Oh, leave me alone! <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh, no! This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Oh, no, come on! Like, I know I can, like, hit with my other hand, but I'm just, like, completely messing this up right now. This dog and me. Who will win? Find out next time. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm using the wrong axe. That would definitely make sense of why this is so hard. Oh, okay. Puppers down. This thing has no idea that we're here. So that means all we need is a crimson flask, right? So kill another pack of enemies. Beware of anything on the cliffs. It didn't know we were here when we walked close to the dogs. Oh, strips of white flesh. So we will continue to remain quiet around it for the most part. And then we can actually find out what loot is in here. A morning star. Okay, cool. All right. All I'm hoping for now is a crimson flask. Okay. So bad at hitting these. No! I think two and it is probably best. There we go. Much more reliable on the swing. Smithing stone. That's going to be really nice for us upgrading our weapon. That will definitely come in handy. Does anyone hear something twinkling? Shining? Gleaming? That looks like bait. That, that, that can't be good. I feel like I'm going to go chasing it because I hear it gleaming and then like something from up here is going to come for me. So... 
I don't know what it is. Maybe I've played one too many of these games. And I've been hurt and betrayed one too many times. I totally will take drop damage if I go down here. Okay, so there is nothing? <laughs> Maybe it's this thing's like soccer ball. Maybe we we're about to get punted. Didn't see any enemies lurking. So if they are here, they're extremely hidden. All right. You mean we're actually safe and we got an Ash of War called Mighty Shot? Unbelievable. Inconceivable. There's no way we survived that. All right, what's on these cliff sides? Something new. Oh, Arteria leaf. I definitely never got one of those before. That means we're gonna be able to level up and do some weapon upgrades. And before I die... Okay, we can go to the right or we can keep going down the broken path. Um, I think I'm gonna head right. Let's hope I don't regret this choice. Cause I do, I do like this beautiful plateau. There's a effigy. Oh, oh, well. Oh, there's lots of dogs. But I think there's a site of lost grace somewhere here. At least I think I saw something moving in the distance. Safety, perhaps? Alright, let's sneak through. Because you know, it kind of feels I'm a little bit like in a hyena den. I don't know, I keep getting this feeling with just like all the skulls, all the weird like chimera thingies. The dogs in this area, the mosquitoes. I feel like something is about to eat me. And if we really wanted to, we can go along the runes here. Um, yeah, there is a side of grace. Okay, let's go there first. I didn't see wrong. Oh. I just got so... I don't know why these animals are dying and why I'm getting souls for it. What's hiding? Are they hiding? Okay, side of grace first. Side of grace first. Safety first. Then we can explore. What the hell is going on? Yeah, whatever those things are, they look like they're kind of shielding themselves from above. Okay. Ah. Oh. A sight for sore eyes. Okay, we're gonna touch it. I think we can maybe sit here as well. But I won't sit until I can like maybe try and retrieve a flask. Just so I can make some area progress, you know, without having to, like, kill these things once more. Um, so we'll do our best. We'll do our very best! Okay, we tried. <laughs> we sat inside a grace, so we're safe. Aw, these dogs were kissing. Cute. They do look really strange, right? It's like, I can't tell if it's, like... They haven't seen food in forever, or the fact they don't have fur, or, like their heads look a little bit abnormal. They just... Poor puppers. They've seen some hard days. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's a fire burning in a distance. Now that's interesting. Puppers stood no chance. These charge attacks are like really, really strong. Come back! Yeah, yeah! 
You didn't get to zip around. I can't believe I'm chasing whatever this is. A mosquito? It's, it's not gonna stay still, is it? Oh, it's probably a dragonfly. Yeah, yeah, that's what that was. Okay. Beast blood. It's probably a dragonfly head. Yep, okay. One more dog in this little pond. Okay, that's cleared. There's something really satisfactory about playing these games and sort of just hugging the corners of the map and just sort of clearing your enemies. And maybe that's why I'm a little bit resistant to like kind of sit in any one location because it means these enemies are going to like populate the area again. And I know that means I can have more chances for runes, but I know I just feel accomplished. So what was happening here early? Something is sniping them. Okay, it looks like it's from that tower. So what's taking prejudice on these creatures? I guess we have to go investigate. It's a mystery. I like mysteries. Yes, whatever it is doesn't seem to like these creatures or is afraid and defending itself. Oh, Do you see that? When approaching, the flower opened, and it was deceptive, and now I'm poisoned. Oh my god, this is, oh, this place is dangerous. The Weeping Peninsula is not a place of refuge at all. I thought it was so beautiful, but then I forget when nature is beautiful, it's generally dangerous. Okay. Okay. So I think even while, like, kind of walking along these ruins up here, at least pick up some... Sanctuary stones and maybe some rune fragments. Avoid the deadly flowers. I can't wait till we hit our first swamp in this area. I'm gonna hate it so much. Let's see what's going on here. I wonder if we can actually. Oh, we can. We can totally run across this. Oh, I love this. I love. Ah! I love the traversal of these lands. This gives us a really good view of the area. Okay, so that's where we came from. There's a statue there that beckons to be investigated. That's where we were at the Ever Joel. There's so much more to this area than I thought. This map is huge. It's huge. <laughs> like, there's so much to do. Okay, so investigate whatever it was shooting. That's our goal. 1,800 runes. I don't think we're gonna be very concerned killing birds right now. Okay, stay away from flowers. Got it, got it. There's so many in the area. Oh, pupper! Pupper! Stay back! Back, foul beast! Oh! Oh! Oh, the worst possible thing has happened. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. I don't know if I have anything against poison. I, um... Pretty much screwed. Unless... No, oh, we're totally gonna die on torrent. I'm <laughs> sad. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Nothing that can't be, like, regained again. <sighs> oh, it's like they set it up. They wanted us to do... They wanted us to die in such a miserable way. We being Peninsula, not so friendly. I wonder what it would have given me that impression. Considering everything is kind of dying light and left in these lands. 
You know, that's probably what this entire playthrough is going to be like. Just us wandering the lands and paying the price for it. Okay, stay away from that. Uh, okay, it's going to do that in waves. All right. Head towards this tower. It almost feels like whoever's in this tower almost intentionally set this up so that they have safety. Look at all these like gold runes, all these shinies around the poisonous flowers. It's like, hey, hey, hey. You want something? You want the shiny? Well, come and get it. And then you walk into this poison field. Ah! Ah! God. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like I've caught the attention of someone. Okay. Someone is definitely taking camp here. I think we're gonna resume our crouching. And see if we can sneak up on whoever it is. Oh, look! I think you can probably ride that up here with Torrent, but I could be mistaken. Forest Lookout Tower. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whoever's in this tower might be above or might be just the enemy we just faced now. Let's climb and find out. You know, I think one of the cool things about this game is there's so many outdoor areas. I feel like in the other From Software titles, we spend so much time indoors. Ooh, hello. Like, between caverns and dungeons and castles and whatnot, libraries. It's kind of nice to be outdoors. It's mostly pretty. Okay, what lies within this chest? A hand ballista and ballista bolts. And hello, where did you come from, friend? Uh, okay, see you later. I've been waiting for you. We're up here. The top of the... Yeah. Are you not gonna walk up? Okay, here, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh crap! I thought I just I had that wound up just just far enough. Okay, that didn't work out in my favor, but that is okay. Can we use this? No, we can't. This is a really good bird's eye view of the entire lands. It's a pretty cool spot to hang out. Oh, there's a bridge there, and there's like some houses or more ruins. And... Wow. I am so deviating off the course. <laughs> kind of cool, though. All right. Let's see the items that we got. The white flesh found by hunting creatures, bloodless creatures. Okay. Then beast blood. Fresh beast blood, glinting with gold. Material used for crafting items found by hunting carnivorous beasts. This glimmering blood never rots or decays. You see, there's something that these animals are consuming, or it's something that's running through these lands that's making them, like, not decay, which is, you know, the undying effect of the world. Um, We have seven small smithing stones, and then what seems to be larger smithing stones. That's going to be handy. What else have we gotten? Oh, yeah. This one. Ash of War, the Mighty Shot. The Ash of War grants no affinity to Armin, but imparts the following skill. Mighty Shot. Archery skill performed from an oblique stance. Ready the bow. Pull the bowstring to its limit to enhance the power of the shot, penetrating the enemy's guard. Cool. On long bows and long bows. So maybe we can take a look at our hand ballista. Okay, we have kick, which is a basic skill. To besiege castles. Only capable of firing great bolts. Perfect for reckless acts such as storming a castle or facing an entire enemy army alone. Oh my god, can you imagine? That's that's pretty that sounds like a lot of fun. Not gonna lie. Okay. I mean we still haven't found any cool gear for her to wear, like aside from what we started our class with. Nothing else of great imports. Alright, let's see if any other enemies 
loiter within this tower. I feel like the only one that did was kind of the one manning the ballista and then the few around. Hmm. Maybe we can chill on these rocks, I guess. See? That is definitely a place. Well, at least it looks like. What's that? Do you think that's for Torrent to jump across? I think it definitely is for Torrent to jump across. That would be so cool! It looks really cool when, like, Torrent gets, like, launched into the air like that. Okay, where was that item I was trying to get earlier? Oh, all the flowers are opening up. There's one shiny that was denied to me. Okay. I don't know if I can find it again, but it seems if I run quick enough through all of this, I can, for the most part, uh, part like, bleh. for the most part, avoid all the poison smogs. So we're good. All right, cool. Making our way downtown, walking fast, and I'm homebound. Oh my god, this wasn't that bad. Just unexpected, which, you know, just makes me worry for what lies ahead. If this was relatively tame. Oh, we can do summons here. That would be cool. Let's move with our wolves. I don't want to be alone. I want to take my wolves with me. They'll accompany me in this journey. And go, go attack whatever those thingies are. Alright, well, I don't know why they're still kind of... I feel a little bit bad for them because they're still trying to defend themselves with, like, rickety boards and shields. They made ape sounds, didn't they? <gasps> Wait, am I not in an area where I can be accompanied by my wolves? I'm so sad. I had them all but, like, three seconds and then they were gone. Gone, just like that. Hmm. I don't like... What could possibly be in the marshes. So let's take the higher ground for now. Before we make our way down to the wetlands or marshes or whatever it is it could be. Just lower areas. I don't I don't like the danger could be surrounding me from above. I don't think that's dead. It's 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 not it's deaf. Whoa. It's fast. Ah, uh, Torrent, take me away. Okay. All right. Let's do this, Torrent. Eye on the prize. Oh, oh my god. Ow, it hurts so much. Eye on the prize, Torrents. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. One swing. Two swings. I got this. Three swings. Four swings. Got it. <sighs> wow, we get so much distance. Like, jumping off torrent. It looks like just like everything else, except this is more dog than, like, kind of human. Huh. Something tells me we should not cross this bridge. <laughs> everything is telling me that danger lies ahead. Not like, you know, this whole game is not dangerous, but... Look how big these bridges are. What if it... It's totally gonna buckle under me, isn't it? Okay, Torrents. Ride! Ride, boy! 
Oh my god. We did we didn't fall. Oh. oh made it. I was so expecting it to like drop me into the poisonous lens below. With all the flowers and the poison fog. I am very glad that did not happen. Enemy? Definitely looks like an enemy. There's many of them. Wow, they hold such interesting weapons. Okay. Well, since they're kind of like half tree people things with armor and weapons, which makes me think that something happened to them. I am going to sneak up on every single one of them and kill them. Yeah, we're doing the stealth approach. Plus, you know, ooh, guardian garb. Free easy runes. And we've been meaning to collect those. I would say just how much I love the integrations of, like, Sekiro into this game. Because when Sekiro came out, people were both very happy with a new From Software title that was, you know, very interesting. Oh, oh. But simultaneously, everyone was wanting a Souls game with a bit of, like, customization and character level ups and different weaponry. But I'm glad Sekiro existed, you know, so this could, like, utilize what it learned from it, because... Jumping? Crouching? Now that's cool stuff. I'm, I'm very impressed. Let's put it that way. Especially with a world this large, you kind of need... more versatility to your gameplay. Hmm, kind of scared to go to that massive flower. So where are we now then? Because I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it almost feels like this is leading me up to like a big fight or a big arena for something major to happen. Okay, ooh, a group of people that I can kill. Oh my god, everywhere I look I feel like I need to go see this and that and here and there and... There's too much happening. Ooh. Ooh. Worst mistake I've ever made. Like, I don't know why I expected that to go any better when I walked like straight into a torch. Um, should have expected differently. Because I was going to go in for, like, you know, the wild strikes, but here we are. All right. This... This this friend first. Oh! Oh, come on! Really? That's... <laughs> that's so sucky. I feel like I get it, you know? You're mounted, and that's... Oh, God. Walking into a torch is just... It sucks. Not fun at all. It almost feels like it shouldn't be broken like that. Such a weakness, I'm gonna avoid it. I don't like the screams. I feel like we're definitely heading in the wrong direction. Yes, we are. We were supposed to go up the cliffside, no. Down the cliffside. Which means I think I'm just going to run past this enemy here that we fought off first. Just because I want to go get my runes, you know? Maybe we can give him a little tap on the way out. God, why does it feel like it's going to break the second time around? Like, I know it didn't break the first time, but like now it's like definitely going to break. It didn't happen before, it's gonna happen now. Oh, something fell off and died. Thank you for the free runes. Mm. 
Nope. No blowing your horn. Not this time. Okay. All right. That went pretty well. These cute little jumping rodents. Okay. So they're walking the path to what looks like a chapel of sorts, or just like these ruins. There must be something here. Oh, there's a grave. I feel like this definitely has to be a chapel of sorts. And there's a spirit that lies outside. So let's see what it whispers. <sighs> the mausoleum prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. The soulless demigod, huh? Sounds pretty cool, not gonna lie. Things are emerging from the ground! Things are coming from the ground! Oh no. Oh no, our first undead. Of this nature. I wonder if they'll come back. We need some holy water. I'm sure I can craft some, but I don't know if I have the materials to do so. Yeah, so these are going to keep, like, resurrecting. Um, so let's do a quick run-through. Because there's always some... Um, oh, nice loot, if I may add. When little cemeteries and stuff are involved. We can actually take a look in a moment here, whether we will be able to craft any kind of holy items. Let's see if we get out of running distance from this fella. Scary. Okay, that yeah, he he's, he's he's just gonna revive, so we're just gonna head over here for a sec. I don't think he'll come after us. We're having a bit of a sh uh, showdown here. Yeah, but you back away. Don't try it again, otherwise I'll make you undead again. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> um, hmm, holy water pot. It needs mushrooms and a tarnished golden sunflower found near minor earth trees. Okay. We only have the one, so not many. What else? I guess we would need a spell of sorts that will be able to do exactly what we want. But we did find a shield. We did find this, the Gilded Iron Shield. Small mall round shield, heavier than the wood shield, but boasts higher damage negation. Though the gold leaf is peeling, the effect is slight, it still boosts holy damage negation. Cool. I expect it to be slightly bigger. But it'll do. Okay. Back to exploring these lands. We have to see what lies within. Because th there was mention of a mausoleum, so. Alright. Where are we in retrospect to where we started? Oh, look. You know where we are? I'm fairly certain that we're behind the gravestone that we started off with. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so it wasn't a headless uh, figure. It was just like a hooded figure. And water seems to be coming out of the channels of that grave. I see. That's kind of cool. We've kind of come all the way around. I, I didn't even know it. So that's where the path leads. Definitely south where we started, so... We'll sit at the Site of Grace here. The Church of Pilgrimage. Oh, cool statue. Okay, a statue of a man... ...who's bound... ...and seems to be some... Roots just growing around them, kind of what we saw in the dungeons, except in dungeons they like seemed like to be wrapped around the roots themselves. Sacred tear. Wow, I am absolutely heartless. 
A golden centipede? I don't like the thought of that. Don't You're not going to tell me that there are centipedes in these things, are you? I don't like it when there's centipede in things. It's like Sekiro all over again. That was weird. Centipedes being impure, by the way. But also a source of power. Which is why a lot of like, the priests in Sekiro and stuff like that. Like I think it was the Buddhists themselves were infected by it. Oh, okay, sorry. We're in item crafting. That, that would make sense why we're not finding the item that we need. This. The golden desiccated remains of a centipede. Materials used for crafting items. Kept as a fetish by golden order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches and similar. I Look, this is exactly the same theme in Sekiro. Like, I, I did a podcast on this, and I went into, like, the elements of what a centipede means, especially in Japanese folklore, and how they, like, infest the bodies of those that seek higher, greater things, but it's, like, an impure way of gaining power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, there's... Ah, 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 no! <laughs> I'm so invested in my lore that the skeleton took the chance to kill me. Oh my god. I fumbled. I was like trying to put my hand back on the game and I like all tabbed and pulled up my Windows menu and everything. My guide. Everything that could have went wrong in that moment totally went wrong. So let me just go grab these runes again and heck you, Mr. Skeleton. How did it take you 10 years to find me? My guide. I was just I was just trying to read an item. There was so much to unpack there. We were so rudely interrupted. <sighs> okay. Golden Order fundament Fundamentalists. Um, they're probably of the Golden Age. Ones that highly believe in it and trying to put people on that track and maybe want us to become the Elden Lord. Um, so that's something we need to look into. But centipedes. Centipedes. Kept as a fetish. And then... And then... The hunters of those who live in death. Feels a lot like, you know, kind of like Harry Potter. Like, um, what are they called? That come and like make sure that no one... Cheats, uh, death or escapes the prison or anything like that. Prison of Az... Wait, Azkaban? I'm forgetting what they're called right now. You know what I mean. Um, hunters, those who live in death. Very interesting. And near churches. Okay. A lot of stuff to unpack, which just that item alone are very cool. And I think we found some other stuff as well. Oh, some crafting items that we never looked at. Dark red uh, leaves with thick swollen veins. Exceedingly rare to find the Arteria leaf. A lot like the uh, Trina's lily that we found earlier. A faint pulse can be felt in the veins. Stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. Okay. We're definitely going to be able to craft with that. And then this, the sacred tear. Blessing of the Erd tree, worshipped in the churches of all the lands. This is but a faint vestige. Increases the potency of sacred flasks. Restorative effects can be used after resting aside of grace. Oh, okay, cool. So we're going to be drinking the tears of... Um, or the blessing of the Erd tree and using it to empower our flasks. During the age of Erd tree, these tears were used to spread the faith. For theirs was once a certain blessing. Does anyone feel like this is kind of um, an invasive... Like, I, I really don't believe in the Golden Age or the Age of the Earth Tree. I think, like, there's something really strange about it. And to be, like, lacing this drink with, like, blessing of the Earth Tree is just trying to, like, brainwash the masses. Um, yeah, so Tears of the Earth Tree... Were to spread the blessing. Hmm. 
Okay. Cool. Very cool. Very good choice on my part, I guess, to come to this church, but... There was mention- oh, there's so many of them. So many golden centipedes. Oh, that's weird. That- uh, that is so weird, especially in these flowers. Does anyone get kind of like... Are you back? Sort of Final Fantasy VII vibes from all the flowers that are growing out of the ground here? Oh my god, the skeleton is like coming for me. Mausoleum. You would imagine that there's something more to the space. Something more. Oh, we can talk to Melina. That's fantastic. Okay, first we want to increase the amount of replenished by flasks. Use your sacred jar to increase the amount of HP, FP replenished by flasks. Yes. Um, now nah, we're not really using much of the FP stuff, so we'll be okay. Let's talk to Mel Melina. Someone said her name is Melina and I've been confused ever since. Oh, okay. So that's where the gospel was spread, I guess. Yes, 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 please tell us. I'm definitely interested. Okay, so first thing. Marika, Marika's word was spread to the churches. We gotta take aggressive notes. Aggressive note taking happening. Okay, I'm interested. Let me know. In America's own words, then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. That sounds strangely religiously symbolic. Is is there going to be a projected return? Return of Marika? She will give back what she once took. And she beckons the soldiers to death. Very interesting. And she wants them to follow the Lord Godfrey. What time of day is it? Let's take a look at the map. It's morning. I almost want to sit here at night and see if anything will happen. That is such cool animation. Do you think anything will happen? Other than winds howling. And it being straight up nighttime. Do you see what I see? Is that a jellyfish? Hear a grunt? Oh! Oh my god, it's red. Oh, I've angered every single one of them. But I will not die. I will not die. I refuse. I'm gonna go get the second jellyfish. We're gonna anger it. Okay, we broke whatever poison had. Oh! Oh! Is there more? The music is also cool at this hour. There has to be something that we don't know. Oh, sunflowers. Oh, good. We can create holy pots. Oh, uh, uh. Music is too cool for us to die. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We run. 
We make our great getaway. And we explore. Wow, this is a really beautiful view. <laughs> Uh, am I am I that being that sneaky or are these birds sleeping because uh, they didn't even hear me coming? Okay, so those skellies are resurrected. Nothing happened though, but I don't know what it is that we killed. Like, what were those jelly fish creatures? Hmm, I feel like there's still more to the puzzle. The soulless demigod. I wonder if this is just like, you know, not particular to this area, but... Just something that you can find lurking at night near the crypts. Like, what is with the jellyfish? It's just, it's just weird. I think it's just like almost worth it to make um, a holy pot as well and then just give it a try on the skeletons. Since we can make a few now. Oh, because we don't have enough cracked pots. I never bought- I never bought the other two! I guess if we um, use our fire pot, then we can kind of make a holy- a holy one. Hmm. We can use one. Um, I guess we can't craft in combat. So I'm gonna make a quick getaway. Let's see if we can get a whole army of them and then toss it. Oh, oh. We need to put it up on our slot here. The holy pots. Okay. Alright. Group them up, boys. It's time to hang out and chill in the cemetery. can end this painless cycle of life and death and resurrection. Okay, 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 friends. I got two of them, I got two of them. Can we make it three? Can we make it a party? Um, I actually don't know where the third one is at. Uh, did we lose the other boy? Hmm. Where did we lose our other friends? Did we lose him for good? Where'd he go? Alright, I can't stay too far away from these numbskulls. Hey, boys. Keep following me. You gotta go find your friend. Yeah, he took the wrong turn. He's lost patrolling some godforsaken lands. Or he went back to sleep. I can't tell. He, he, he actually might have gone back to sleep. Okay, which one's his? I almost feel like I want to hit these um, tombstones, hoping that maybe I can find something else. Alright, alright. I think we've grouped up enough. Return from whence you came. Cool. There's someone, something here. I don't know where. But I know there was a third. 
Oh, this place is such a mystery to me now. It bothers me. Where is this person or thing sleeping? I'm making sure it's not the spirit. Oh my god. I am so perplexed. Like, right here. This is where I'm hearing the sounds from. No mausoleum. No answers. One big snoring fella. Ah! Okay. I'm done. I don't want to find out anymore. Have your eternal rest, I guess. Is there really no more to this place? Is is that all? Don't think we can go any higher than this. Hmm. No ladders, no nothing. So, if I sit again, will these jellyfish come back? Since it's still nighttime? Oh, so weird. Like, really weird. And nothing drops from them. There was only one jellyfish this time. Oh wait, there's another one. Let's see if anything happens this time. Nope. <sighs> I guess the mystery will remain then. I think we're not solving this one this time, but still really cool. It makes me like really tempted to go to like all the places in this land. I was like kind of talking about this like during an event I had where it's like almost feels like there's multiple playthroughs within a singular playthrough because if you go to all the places and you pass time, I'm sure there's like different interactions that are going to happen in the world. So there's like so many layers it's, like peeling back an onion. Oh my god, this was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this episode as we explored the south of Limgrave and found ourselves reconvening behind the gravesite or the graveyard that we initially started off with. There were some spooky moments and so many questions unanswered, but I think the most important thing to me today is like finding out all this stuff about the word of Marika the centipedes at churches and just like the was it the golden order fundamentalists and just like this lore that's being unveiled about the region and the lands between and i can't wait for next episode to dive back into it because we already have one page of notes where are we gonna end up next time i guess we'll find out thank you tarnished for joining me on this adventure and i hope to see you again in the lands between